Planet Dolan. From who made the first roller coaster to why baby kangaroos are called joeys, we answer several of your most boring questions about life. Yo, what's up? It's Ninja Dolan. I'll be reading out the questions and answers. And I am Nixium. Bask in my greatness. Ooh, for I am here to lead you from ignorance into the light of truth. You stole my job, you bloody dead person. You already have a job. You're gonna fix my wagon. Ooh, uh, here. Uh, here's a coin for your troubles. Now get to it. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. Just, just a heads up. Old kids 4 gaming asks, what's the difference between a wolf and a coyote? A wolf is a proud, strong, and ferocious creature. Only the greatest of warriors can ride into battle on the back of a great wolf. I know I have. What about coyotes? <laughs> now, I've never heard of a warrior riding a coyote before. They're far too small. But maybe, yes, maybe they could pull my chariot. Oh yeah, that's great. But here's a thought. Why not get a car? You know, one of them horseless carriages. Never. Ugh, never. There is no adventure in being ferried around on some haunted carriage by a specter. What? It's a car, dingus. You don't know anything. Typically, coyotes are smaller than wolves and tend to have bushier tails, but they also behave differently. Wolves are pack hunters and prey on sheep, goats, and deer. Whereas coyotes often hunt in pairs and prey on smaller animals like rabbits and mice, coyotes also tend to be more shy around humans, far less likely to attack than wolves are. Greguaza Graeolus asks, who made the first roller coaster? A coaster? That rolls? What kind of a useless invention is that? When I put my flagon down, I don't want the coaster to be doing any rolling. It'll spill my mead. A roller coaster is something you ride on? Yeah, for fun. Uh, mm, uh, this world truly is strange. Call me old fashioned, but I'll just stick with a horse. <laughs> the origins of the roller coasters can be found as far back as 17th century Russia. A great ice slides were enjoyed by thrill-seeking aristocrats. Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia, would later commission a slide with wheeled carts for her residence. After much time and evolution, the first commercially successful roller coaster would open in 1884 at Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York. It was built and patented by Lamarcus Adna Thompson, who is now considered the father of the roller coaster. I have to say, Dolan, you were right about these rolling coasters. They are fun! Unknown Breads asks, what is the strongest animal, what's the weakest? Well now, as you all know, there is no being stronger than <laughs> me. And I have been called an animal on a number of occasions. <laughs> oh my. But the weakest animal has to be the jellyfish. I have never seen them lift a thing! They don't have bones, buddy! That is not an excuse! Lazy! If we're talking about proportional strength, then the world's strongest animal is the dung beetle, being able to pull roughly 1,141 times their own body weight. The weakest is a little harder to identify. Humans, in proportion to their size, are considered one of the weakest. The average untrained man will struggle to lift even his own body weight. MCPE Gamer Redstone asks, where do car names come from? Names have power, and so when it comes to naming your horseless carriage, you must think carefully. That's why I named my chariot the bringer of destruction. <gasps> You're not meant to bring destruction to yourself, you stupid cart! The way in which cars are named will vary between companies. Take Toyota, for example. Their vehicle names will often be a reference to crowns, royalty, mythology, and architecture. Marketing and design teams work to produce a pool of potential names and eventually isolate the ideal one. On the other hand, companies like BMW tend to name their vehicles by series number. Shima's biggest fan asks, why does sugar make you jumpy? 
Sugar comes from lightning slugs, their slime being electrified. Once it's refined, you get sugar crystals. But if you can't wait for that, you can just help yourself to a nice helping of slug slime. Care to try some, Dolan? Nah, no, I think I'll pass. I'm watching my weight and all that. Understandable. You are looking doughy. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. Ooh. While eating large amounts of sugar does have negative health effects, studies have found that it does not cause hyperactivity. Being shaky after consuming sugar could be a symptom of hypoglycemia. The body will release additional adrenaline into the bloodstream to protect against this, which can cause shakiness and increased anxiety. Kitty Fox asks, how did humans learn to write and speak? It was my people, the elves, that first taught humans how to write and speak. It wasn't long after the humans massacred my people and desecrated the ancient culture we had worked so hard to build. What? Why would they do that? Because we made the dire mistake of teaching them about being offended by things. They didn't like that we taught them about how to be offended. So they got offended and they attacked. Unfortunately, I was not there to stop them. So nowadays, well, if I offend somebody, I just, I just kill them. You kill them? Yeah, I kill them. What? Well, the exact origins of human language are still in debate, but evidence suggests that thanks to the shape of our mouth, tongue, and throat, humans are able to develop a more advanced way of communicating with each other compared to other hominids. Written language later began as a way to record events using images, eventually becoming symbols that represented the sound of speech. Why do eyes twitch crazily? That means an enemy is nearby. Watch your back. All it takes is a moment's hesitation and... You're dead, Dolan. I don't want to be dead. Suck it up. You had plenty of time to react. Hmm. Would you just fall over and die already? Oh, bugger off. Eyes twitching generally mean you're stressed or tired. Phones, tablets, computer screens can also trigger it. Your eye muscles are spasming because of strain. So stop looking at the screen. Stop drinking coffee. Get some sleep. Just get off the internet for five goddamn minutes. You'll be fine. Jacob Richardson asks, can you teach a blind person colors? When one sense diminishes, the others increase. With enough practice, you'll be able to smell speech and hear time. What? Allow me to demonstrate. Hmm. Oh, yes. It's coming. Yes! The time! It is 2.15! Oh, wow. How did you know? Told you. Just takes patience to learn. Yes, yes. Very impressive. If a person has been blind since birth, it will not be possible for them to perceive colors. You could, however, teach them to associate the name of each color with certain stimuli, such as red and orange for heat or warmth. The name could also be associated with an emotional state, blue being calm, for example. Melody Sky asks, what would happen if every animal on the planet was a herbivore? Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Nixium's an elf. He doesn't eat meat. Oh. That is a lie spread by the goblins. We elves care for our forests so much that we only eat meat. It would be better, it would be better if the entire cosmos were carnivores. That way, no harm would come to any plants or our trees. Our beautiful, beautiful trees. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Hey, told ya. Them elves are weird. With no predators, the herbivore population would boom. This could be a problem when it comes to food sources and without predators to devour other animals, wildlife would decay naturally after dying. After enough time has passed, it's possible that the remaining creatures may have adapted to the new vegetarian world. Oh hey, apples! That's free lunch! <sighs> Keep your hands to yourself, apple snatcher. Devin Bostick Cunningham asks, why is a baby kangaroo called a joey? Funnily enough, it's not just baby kangas. In Australia, we call baby koalas, possums, dingoes, and snakes, they're all joeys. 
Oh, pretty much every marsupial is a joey. Even baby humans, they're all joeys until they're about, like, what, seven? Then we give them a real name. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one, Dolan. What, what do you mean? Come on, what's the real answer? You surely can't call them all Joey. That's ridiculous. Hey man, that's the truth. It, that's, how, that's how it works here. This land of Austin Aurelsia sounds like a really bizarre place. Oh, you'd like it. There's plenty of dangerous beasties for you to fight. Big old spiders too. You don't say. Make haste, my tiny friends. Glory await us in the mystical land of Austin Aurelsia. Yeah! Someone should probably tell him that Australia isn't on Planet Dolan. Ah, whatever. You know what? I don't care. I don't care what happens to you. Bye. Dingus. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys.